In this video, I show you how to add subtitles to a video automatically. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And now let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my computer and let's get right into this. And it's important to note that this guide is going to work on both Mac and Windows. So let's get right into this. And it's really useful because the software we can go and use is actually web-based. So all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you would like. Then you want to go and search for it. So this software is actually called CapCut. Now you may have heard of it before. It's a really popular app on mobile devices. So go and search C-A-P-C-U-T, just like so, and hit enter and wait for it to load. Then make sure you go to the official website, which is capcut.com. Here we are. Then as you can see, we get a few different options, but what you want to do is press edit online, just like so. And then it's gonna go and take you to the online editor. And personally, I just use the blank canvas. It seems to work best. So you can press blank canvas like so, and then hit create. Then here we are on a brand new project. And what you want to do is go and upload the video or videos, which you want to go and add uh, subtitles to or captions. So I'm gonna go and drag one now. So I'm dragging mine in now and all you need to do is then let go. And as you can see, it's now uploading. It doesn't take too long at all to finish uploading. Uh, it should be done in a minute. Sometimes it sort of freezes a bit, but as you can see, it's then uploaded and then it's gonna go and transcode it. So just wait, um, this time will take a bit longer if it's a bigger video because it's, there's more to do basically. As you can see, it's now finished. So now what you want to do is go and add the videos, which you want to go and add the subtitles to. And of course, CapCut is like a full blown editing software. So you can do much more with it. But in this guide, I'm just showing you how to add subtitles. So then just go and click on this plus button and it's gonna go and add it to the timeline. Here it is, we can then go and play it back. So here it is, I'll quickly play it back for you. Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to add subtitles to a video on YouTube. So there we go, that is what I want to go and add subtitles to. Of course, I could go and type it out, but that's gonna take a long time. With CapCut, we can go and automate it. So all you then need to do is go over to the left hand side, is go and tap on text and wait for it to load. And what you need to do is go to this top section of text, we've got new text, text template, and then auto captions. This is basically adding um, auto subtitles. So tap on auto captions, and then we've got these three options here. And the option we want to use is recognize voice. As you can see here, it says recognize voice in sounds or videos and create auto captions. You can then go and choose the language. So we tap here, we've got American English and British English. In this case, I'll just use British English as I am British. Then all you need to do is tap create. I recommend you putting this cursor just right at the start of the video, just so it does the whole video. Then go and tap create just like so. And as you can see, it's now creating the captions. This will take longer if you've got a longer video because there's more captions to create. Now, as you can see, I'm now gonna play it back and we're gonna go and see the captions. So there you go, you get a rough idea. The subtitles are now appearing and that happens throughout the whole video. So you've now added the subtitles, but there's so much more we need to do. So the first thing you need to do is just go and select any of them. Uh, one of these sort of orange or red bars, click on it. And then as you can see on the right hand side, it launches captions and we can go and read how it looks. So you may want to go and capitalize certain words or sometimes there are mistakes and it's detected a wrong word, which you can go and tap and then you can go and change it. For example, I might go and capitalize H just like so. It's really easy to do. And then what we can do is go and change the font, add drop shadows, add effects. To do that, all you need to do is then go to the right of captions and press text like so. And what I recommend doing is selecting this, text lining and text effects apply to all captions. That means if we change the font on this one caption I've selected here, it's going to be applied to all of them. So let's go and change the font of this. So I'm gonna go and choose a good font. Of course, you can go and choose any font you like. Personally, I'm gonna go for this font here, Indivisible, so I'll tap that. And then if I go and scroll along, as you can see, the font has been applied to all of the different captions at one time. Then what I'm going to go and do is scroll down a bit more, you can change the format. You've also got these styles here. You can adjust the spacing, the position, the size, the blend, um, outline, but I like to add a, a shadow. So for the color, I'm gonna add like a black shadow like so, and it looks really cool. It's quite marginal, but when we go and save it, it's gonna look really good. Um, and then you can go and increase the blur like so, and you can adjust all these effects to however you want them. And of course you can go add effects, and there's so many things you can do with this. And I'll quickly show you the animation as well. If you tap on animation, you can then choose an animation for each of these. For example, if you want to glitch one, I could tap glitch. And then you can go and select the animation for when it ends as well. For example, this elastic one. So yeah, you can do all of that. But once you're happy with it, then we can go and export it back to our computer and the quality will be good. It's just a bit lower quality because we're obviously doing this online. So go to the top right and go and press export like so, and you just need to go and create an account. So I just went and created an account, but you may have signed into an existing one. But in this case, I've just got to go and choose a role. So I'll just press social media, then press confirm. Then we can come over to the right hand side and we can go and export this video. So you can go and choose the file name. So I'm gonna go and um, name this subtitles just like so. And then you can go and choose the resolution. I'll do 1080p. 
Then you can go and choose the advanced settings as well. So in my case, I'm gonna do 60 FPS and then you can go and tap export just like so and it's now exporting it as you can see and we can just wait. And in my case, my export said 0% just for a few seconds and then it instantly finished. So don't worry if it says, if it sticks on a number basically. Then we can go and press download just like so. And as you can see, the video is now downloading again. Now let's go and open it up just like so and wait for it to load. And now let's go and check out these subtitles. They look absolutely great. And that's it guys, it's a really quick way of adding subtitles to a video without having to manually go and type it out. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like, peace.